Where shall we? So we start. Okay, this is uh, as I said, I will speak only for one minute. Then after that, it's open forum. So uh, another is uh, just to just to describe the Philippines. We have the third largest country in the world. Huh? We have 100 million people. We turned 100 million two months ago. 100 million. Very young population. Average is 23 years old. Uh, in one half the average age in Japan is about Japan is about 48, 49 years old. Average age. Okay. In Taiwan, we about about 45, and even Thailand, they have about already in the 30s. I mean, even Malaysia, you're about already in late 20s, no? the average age. So you're a very young population. Uh, in terms of man, uh, sorry, uh, big consumer for business, meaning mean big consumer, and, be, and many young, trainable population. This advantage. My point here is that. Inequality is not so much a problem. It's rather the condition of the poor. Because look at this. Before the inequality is like this, it was bad. Now it should be somewhere here. So the inequality has, has worsened. And tomorrow it should be a little bit, uh, something like this. Something like this, no? So the inequality is rising. But it's not so much a problem because one indicator is that in terms of life expectancy, the Philippines in 1990, the average is about 45. Even if you are super rich, you die at 45 or 50, you're lucky. By 2010, even the poor can live up to 70 or even 80 years old. Even the poorest. There are many poor people who live up to 80 years old. Anyway, this is the life expectancy, 60, 69 years old. Uh, 67 for males and 72 for females, as of 2010. And now I think it's about already 70, uh, 2014 average. And then think it's not, it's not an impossible, possible, it's not impossible by 2050 or average 75 or even 80 years old. So uh, before the, the poor would ride bicycle, now they ride motorcycle. Even the very poor, farming village, almost everyone's motorcycle. So, uh, so my point is that it's not so much inequality. In fact, in, if you have economic freedom, inequality, it's inevitable and I think it's a good thing. Um, inequality is beautiful because that means that people are free. You, know, you have the freedom to be lazy or the freedom to be hardworking. So that's it. So question. How about uh, regional inequality? Because I know that there is a kind of... More people compared to the South, you know, the same with Kuala Lumpur compared to the other uh, regions. I think anywhere around the world you have the, the, the capital center, the, the average income is higher compared to the rest of the country. I think it's not a, it's not a unique situation, but rather it's, a, it's an average or general condition. Well, I, I don't think I think that uh, on average, uh, I, I would say that uh, in fact the poor are more free marketers than the, the free marketers because when the, there are a lot of very cheap areas, so when the price of food is rising or the price of clothing, they don't go to the state to rally. It should be price control. No, they go to uh, we call it divisoria, baklaran, zero politics, and the, the poor can manage. You know, can you imagine the poor now have rice gold, they now have, have iPad. You know. And, uh, before only the rich, you know, with plushy would have the something top. But now even the poor, the tricycle drivers, jeep car taxi drivers, they have something uh, make it's a fake something top. But she, never this is a top. People, are almost everyone, and even farmers, they now have Facebook. It's unimaginable until about five years ago. So in terms of inequality, um, it's not so much. I, I always look at the at the poor, yeah, the, the poorest. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I'm. In fact, I am more optimistic. The pace of the growth of the condition of the poor is very fast. I, 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 farmers, rice farmers, because you tend to to picture rice farmers are very poor. No, they're not poor. Some have the on average almost everyone has a motorcycle. Some have second-hand cars. That's why traffic in Manila is getting worse. Worsening. You know, you're building private roads, toll roads, but the, the demand for roads is very, very high compared to the supply. How has, because I know in the Philippines the remittance is quite big, how has remittance sort of helped in the remittances? Yeah. 
Well, the remittance about 20 billion dollars a year. And then about 20, 22, something like that. The, the volume of foreign aid is about one-fourth the size of the remittance. In, in 2013, there are about 16 uh, donor billionaires in the Philippines. Until about uh, three years ago, there are only about uh, 12 or 10. So the number of billion dollar billionaires in the Philippines is rising. And the activists say that, look, we are, we are poor and we have so many billionaires. Wrong. You should have 50 or 100 dollar billionaires instead of 16. Instead of demonizing the dollar billionaires, we should, have, we should have upload them. At least they are now Filipinos and the Forbes uh, are billionaires. So the 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 the, 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 the all the noise about inequality, I think, is really about envy. data about social mobility going, let's say, middle class going up to the rich or going getting falling down to the, the poor? Uh, sorry. Yeah, like, I we call it uh, very, uh, sometimes uh, uh, some, uh, this year they are middle class and five years after they will be upper middle class and, and the next generation will squander it and will go back to the poor. Uh, uh, we call it uh, uh, mobility, class mobility. Yeah, yeah, exactly. On average, I think that the, 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 yeah, the, on average, the, the degree, the, the, the upward mobility is much higher compared yeah. to the lower mobility, the downward mobility. Okay. Uh, it's about, uh, now it's about 1.8. Uh, so we're, the, on average, there are about 1.7 million Philippines created every year, net of debt. So we are creating one Hong Kong every three years and nine months. Equivalent. <laughs> one years and ten, nine years, three years and ten months. One Hong Kong. Net, that's already net of debt and net of migration. In Singapore, we are creating one Singapore every two years and eight months, something like that. What about the GDP growth rate? How are you doing? It's uh, about in the, in the past three, uh, the past three years, something like six percent, six percent. It's higher. Uh, 2013, 2014, we are next to China in terms of growth, because China is growing about 7.5 percent. We're growing about 6.8 to 7 percent, something like that. So that's why a lot of uh, a lot of uh, credit ratings are bullish in the Philippines because of the fast growth. The, I think the domestic market. Once you have a big population. That, People are assets. They are workers, they are producers and consumers. They are entrepreneurs and workers. So if they are criminals, then we are also the criminals, whether they are rich or poor. The function of government is to It's not so much to stop the rich so that you can have a lot of money. What we ask for this for our... I would think they would be more bullish. More bullish about the Philippines and the world in general. Is there ethnic or religious inequality growing, not only in terms of income, but also access to services? Yes, yes. Uh, there are some, like the South, the Muslim in the now, uh, there are problems. But I think that uh, it's something to do with the, the uh, internal political culture. You know, uh, they tend to be government, in fact, the national government has been giving them tens of billions of dollars every year. And the, the political leadership tend to be more uh, responder because they can say that we steal the money but if we don't give more money we, we have arms and then we can say blah 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 inequality other the degree of corruption I think in the south is much higher compared to the national language before it was to be about 85 percent Catholic and about uh, 4 percent Muslim uh, I think the Muslim is good. But is there the influence of the church in state? In state, so in social policy, say for example, do you see that there's a lot of influence of the church? The influence is very... They, they, they exert, it's like in the NGO, they tend to exert their will. But in terms of, uh, with the, the, in terms of public policy, the will is now declining. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
see you. <laughs>